we we are live. So, welcome to Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 3, the episode called The Heiress. Spoilers. So, you may remember that when I started doing a weekly, weekly video on this show, I said that I would stop once Moon Knight premiered, to take a break until Moon Knight was done. But I also said that there were six weeks before Moon Knight premiered when there were, I want to say, ten, but now I'm, you know, at, at this point, maybe numbers just no longer have meaning to me. So maybe you are ready for me to be wrong about that. The current plan is I keep doing this show until I'm done with season two, then it's Book of Boba Fett until I'm done with that one, and at that point, I'll see if I continue to do two shows in, you know, every week, or if I'm just going to do, yeah. And that brings us to... There we go. Yeah, great tension as Mando tries to land, even though it has to be manual, and... When Mando tells Frog Lady to brace, she puts one hand on her cylinder respond to keep it safe. Good detail. And the Razor Crest falls into the water, and the uh, same species as... Now I don't even remember his name. The, the guy who says, is it right? Fish Face. I'll fuel it up, if it still holds fuel. Very sweet reunion between Frog Lady and Frog Man. I guess Frog Lad? Frog Sir. Sir Frog. And Mando asks where the others of his kind are. Frogman tells him to get in the inn. I could buy something else. Information. Sure, lots of peoples have them. Lightsabers? Questions? Don't play with your food. The child looks at the bowl like, is anything else going to jump up at me and, and attack me? And they knock the child into the mouth of the man, ma ma Mamagor? Holy crap, but yeah, to smell that sweet, sweet Beskar is hard to say no to for a lot of people in the Star Wars galaxy. Holy crap, those Mandalorians are badass, and they work together really well. Take my hand. I'm kind of surprised we didn't get a flashback for that. And the Mandalorians take off their helmets, so clearly they have not sworn the creed. And bo straightens up Mando when he claims they must not be Mandalorians at all. She points out he's kind of in a cult, which, I mean, I have to wonder if that's because viewers pointed that out. I've seen some people point out, yeah, that children on the watch are very clearly a cult. You know, they believe that theirs is the only way to do, to, to go. They have, um, I mean, some would call it a motto. I don't know what's a motto with you, but the, the yeah, you know, this is the way. It is the way, you know, and... They they don't allow outsiders into the group. You know, yeah, there's, there's cult aspects. He didn't kill your brother. I did. <laughs> and they're as super badass as they just gun down all the, yeah. I can lead you to one of their kind. But first we need your help with the mission. Yeah, he gets that a lot. Something's come up. Can I leave him here with you for a while? And without hesitation, Frog Lady gestures, she'll take it. Very sweet. Another moment of parental solidarity. Because we know that she does have a, you know, a, a bite to her. If, if you, if you try to, to, you know, if, if she thinks that her spawn are in danger, she might, you know, like the, the bit where she, in, in the previous episode, where she was like, oh, I thought Mandalorians cared about honor. I guess those are just stories for children, you know. So, but but here, she's not like, that's your kid. I'm trying to deal with my own kids. No, no, she's like, here, here, take, I'll, I'll take it. Wait, that looked more like a, can I have some more? Uh, can I can I do with this little space, with, you know, here, here, I'll take, you know, that, that kind of thing. You you know, if you're watching this video, presumably you have Disney+, Plus. you can go back and watch if you if have trouble remembering the gesture. I love Titus Weller, the actor who plays the Imperial Security Officer. That's really my only criticism of this episode. Not enough Titus Weller. But there's, there's no such thing as too much Titus Weller. Badass as the men learn to take out a ton of stormtroopers. And the stormtroopers are so hard hit, they think there has to be at least ten people. And, you know, that, then they're like, oh, there's only three life forms on the scanner. And he's, oh, that's, you know. And, and then, yeah. And then one of them's like, they're Mandalorians. And they get 
trapped in the cargo control area, but they have control there. So, yeah. We're not jettisoning anything. We're taking the entire ship. And bo you know, makes a reference to the Darksaber. You're changing the terms of the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. Moff Gideon. Very cool. Badass Din Djarin taking out stormtroopers with grenades and, like, taking multiple hits to the Beskar. And clearly, like, I don't think he... I'm not sure he gets hurt as such, but it, you know... Kevlar in the real world doesn't make it not hurt to get hit. It just means you don't die from it, you know. Verbal confirmation will get Ahsoka Tano. Which, you know, I she's getting a show, so I, I knew that at some point she must appear on this show. And the child wants the little frog baby, and just, it, it really, like... We were all seriously worried that he was going to try to eat one of the frog babies. Congratulations, Sid. It's a frog. So the ship somewhat got fixed up, but not all that well. And I like the, the threatening looking squid. Like It looks like it's going to be a threat to the, the, the child. And then Din Djarin catches it and the child eats it. And this episode was directed by Bryce Dallas Howard. Very cool. You know, it's a good day when you see get to see Katie Sack off in something sci-fi. So that is it for this episode. Really loving. Just, yeah, so far, there has not been a single bad episode of the show. So, yeah, looking forward to next week's episode, and I will catch you then.